Okay, today's the day. It is finally time. Ever since I started working with deer meat, people have been commenting on my posts, my videos, they've been emailing me, whatever, and they've been telling me to soak my meat in milk or buttermilk. I honestly don't really see a huge need for this. It kind of weirds me out. I'm skeptical, but I figure after like four years of this, I've got to give it a try. So these are venison chops. This is from the back strap or the loin. Um, they're really beautiful. And what I'm gonna do is a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm going to let them come to room temp, get them really dry, salt them, sear them in a really hot cast iron pan and some duck fat. And then I'm going to let them rest and then I'm gonna add salt, pepper, and some lemon juice, that's it. These bad boys, I'm going to treat the exact same way, the ones that have been soaking in buttermilk. And then I'm just going to, I'm not gonna rinse because I don't love rinsing meat, I don't think. I'm just gonna get them completely dry and if I can get all the buttermilk out, I'm gonna treat them the same. Then I'm going to let them rest for a good 10 minutes. I'm going to slice them. I'm going to season with salt and pepper and a little bit of lemon juice and serve just like you would serve basically like a filet mignon. The reason that people soak in buttermilk Milk, I'm not sure I totally understand. Now, buttermilk has a higher pH, so it's a little bit more acidic. And so things with acid can help break, break down and tenderize proteins. The other thing with milk or buttermilk, casein, the protein found in dairy, it can kind of bind to the protein, making it taste a little less gamey or strong. So I do see why some people enjoy using buttermilk. Also, people like to use buttermilk as a um, marinade and then they leave it on their meat to bind like breadcrumbs um, if you're making chicken fried steak. I'm just using it as a marinade like people have told me to do for four years. So let's go. <laughs> So you'll see here that I'm just taking the venison that was in the buttermilk out of the glass container and I'm just patting it really dry to make sure I get all of that buttermilk off. I did not rinse this and there actually wasn't a need to. This was fine. This got off all of the residual buttermilk and everything was nice and dry and the protein looked perfect. Then I salted everything, patted it dry a little bit more. This just helps form a crust. And then I put it in my pan with some duck fat. And here you'll just see I smashed some garlic cloves and got out some fresh thyme. I added the garlic and thyme with a pat of butter. Once I flipped the meat, you'll see I'm flipping here. And then the butter goes in along with the thyme and garlic. And then I just basted all of that yummy thyme garlic butter over the meat. That just makes it really flavorful. I recommend doing this for any sort of steak or red meat if you're cooking like this. And then it was pretty much ready to go. This was all that I did with my meat besides resting it once this was done. Okay, so here we are, taste test portion. On my right hand side, we have the meat that has been soaked in buttermilk prior to searing on the cast iron skillet in duck fat. We just got salt and pepper on it. I'm just going to finish with a little bit of flaky salt and lemon. This side is just plain preparation, no marinade. So everything has been resting on this cutting board here. And all I'm gonna do is you just wanna, whenever you slice this meat, this is how I like to serve it and present it, cut against the grain. So the grain of the meat is going this way. Not gonna lie, I nailed this medium rare. This is again, this is what I'm cutting right now to my left. Look at that perfect medium rare, um, is the, venison that was not marinated in buttermilk. This one feels really good. And I'm not gonna lie guys, to the test, the one that was marinated in buttermilk just like feels a little softer. So meaning that the buttermilk did help break down the tissue a little bit, making it a little bit more tender. Flaky sea salt or mauled on sea salt amazing amazing um and then i like to add again acid is your friend which is why people recommend buttermilk because it does have a higher ph level um but i just love to do this brighten things up a little bit okay what am i to go in first let's go in first with the unmarinated Here's why I was hesitant to do this. There's nothing wrong with that. It's better than a steak that you're gonna order at a steakhouse. It's absolutely incredible. Now we're gonna go in with the 
buttermilk marinated. Flavor profile, not a whole lot of difference. It's just a little bit more like tender and soft. The taste is a little bit more mild. So if you're somebody who loves like the like the taste of venison. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the taste of the non-marinated chewing. The taste of the non-marinated meat is just a little bit almost fresher and brighter and almost cleaner to me. This is a little more beef, the marinated and buttermilk. It's more tender. It has more of a mild flavor. So I prefer this. This is almost like grassier, if that makes sense. Um, and this tastes a little bit more like generic red meat. Not in a bad way. It's delicious. It doesn't taste like milky or anything weird. Is marinating a buttermilk worth it? If you have a really unpalatable animal and it's in your freezer and it's keeping you from consuming it, maybe give this a try. It makes it taste a little bit more like a familiar protein that you would buy in a grocery store, so like commercial beef. Um, all in all, this is delicious. You can get, I'm gonna do a blog post on soaking in buttermilk, and then this is my method for cooking venison chops. You can also get my all-purpose venison marinade all on my blog, and if you want more recipes, go grab a copy of my cookbook, it's an everyday. This will be a staple for you. You'll absolutely love it. And make sure you like, subscribe, and follow for more wild game recipes and comparisons and cooking techniques with deer meat like this. I'll see you next time.